I'll be down in a minute. Look, will you just deal with the caterer, okay? Should have looked. This is my second time. I know what I'm doing. all your clothes away. Guess that shirt just got put in the wrong drawer. Imagine that. Me and my perfect domestic skills. You know, I've been meaning to, to come by the cemetery. Well, I plan to almost every day. I guess there's something I should tell you now that I found your shirt and all. I just hate the cemetery, Dave. There's nobody there but a bunch of sad people. I don't need that. And then I think maybe you're there waiting for me. Maybe you can hear me talking to you, you know, like am I living dead or something? I can stand if you were lonely like that. Yeah, kids brought you flowers the other day. I imagine the sons rotted them by now. Did you know they came by to see you? It's a bit of pet chase. I'm getting married. An hour or so, actually. He's a wonderful man. His name is Thomas, but I guess you know all that is being dead is anything like they say it is. You know, I've been the first to swear that I'd never remarry. I mean, I mean how did love happen to the same person twice in one lifetime? And I'm, and I'm not getting any younger, and I was never good at dating, even when I was young. And Sometimes it hurts a lot. Think. What if I remarry and I die? Maybe my husband in heaven. What does forever mean anyway? I don't want you to be lonely in heaven. And then I think nobody can be sad in heaven. I mean, that's the rule, right? I mean, God can't possibly punish you for dying first when when he controlled the whole thing in the first place, can he? Please don't think that I don't love you anymore. I'm so proud of the kids. They seem to be growing up okay. Seems like almost on their own. Can you see them? some way at least. Look, Thomas loves me. You be sure of that, and I love him. Sometimes it still sounds foreign to say I love you, Thomas, instead of, instead of I love you, Dave.